Welcome to Sea Tricity. We're currently at Ness Boatyards on the Orkney Islands, where we have a fabrication plant for de delivering our devices and preparing them for the seas up at Billia Crew. We chose to be in Orkney as it's the epicentre of the renewable world and the credibility which we will add by being here to our device will aid our global expansions. Okay, hi, I'm, uh, my name is Bob Tillotson. I'm the inventor of the Sea Tristy technology. Um, we're in our, presently in our workshops. I'm just going to show you around the devices and, and how they're constructed. Okay, these, um, these long devices here are the, the core of Sea Tristy technology. These are the Oceanus pumps. Um, as you can see, these are, these are long, tubular, single-acting hydraulic pumps which pump seawater from, um, from the sea to the shore. And I'll talk later about how we convert that into electricity or water. Um, these devices um, actually are laying horizontally now. They, uh, when they're working at sea, the bottom end of this device is attached to a, a concrete ballast block on the seabed and this device sits vertically within the water column. Um, the business end, this end, is connected to a, um, um, the actuating buoys, which we'll show you in a while. Um, the buoys react to the waves and quite simply extend and retract the pump. Um, the clever part of this is the retraction mechanism. The, the far end, the lower parts of the pump, contain a, a displacer, which con maintains a constant tension in the, in, in the pump assembly and the assembly string. Um, this is what enables us to, to react to each and every wave which passes by the device. Okay, we're here in, um, in Seatrist's Nest, Nest Boatyard Fabrication Shop. Uh, this is our chief fabricator, Glenn. He's, um, he's just doing a, a pump assembly. Um, here is assembling actually the float to the pump body, but this is uh, this is where we assemble the Oceanus pumps ready for deployment on the site. This is an actuating buoy for our Oceanus 1 device. Uh, it's constructed of aluminium. The reason is to keep the structure light so that it can react easily to different sizes of waves. The structure is tubular for strength and allow it to withstand the hydrostatic crushing pressures of when it's submerged below very large waves. This present project um, at EMEC requires 30 of these Oceanus 1 buoys uh, laid out in arrays in the ocean to generate one megawatt of power. One megawatt is, is effectively enough electricity to power 1,000 homes. The Oceanus 2 larger devices will be built specifically for bulk electricity production in dynamic wave climates. A one megawatt array of the, of the Oceanus 2 devices reduces the array size from 30 down to 6 per megawatt. Here we are at the EMEC test site in the Orkney Islands and as you may or may not be able to see our three Oceanus devices are currently demonstrating a mile offshore out at sea. Here we are at the plant where we convert wave energy into electricity. The Oceanus devices you've just seen offshore are pumping seawater through this system of pipeline, pipework here. From these, the, these pipes continue on to the turbine plant behind you. This is the turbine house. This is a standard um, Pelton wheel turbine. The seawater comes in, runs onto the turbine runner, which turns the shaft which turns the generator, the generator converts the pressurized seawater into electricity. This is the control room and the electricity switch room. 
the electricity from the turbine passes through here on its way to a transformer and then onto the public electricity grid for distribution to people's businesses and houses. What you've witnessed here today is a glimpse into the future. We've found a clean, green and reliable source of capturing the power of the sea instead of the burning of fossil fuels. A renewable resource for future generations. Citricity.